Hey everyone, it's Hannah here again. So usually I do Loot Crate unboxings, but I actually stopped my subscription, um, partly because I wasn't that into the stuff they were sending anymore, and partly because I just wanted to try Nerd Block. I mean, I watch so many unboxings of them, I watch uh, Meg Turney's one every time that she does it, and it just seems like they have much better stuff. I mean, I know it's more expensive and everything, but I just wanted to try it. So I did. Sorry, so my background is a little bit uh, messed up. Right now, not like messed up, but just very, very uh, small, or uh, minimal, I should say, because we redid our basement, and we have new carpet and new furniture, and it looks awesome, but my bookshelves have not been put up yet. I only have this one. So, you know, just up here, I just have some books I've been reading lately, and then down here I have my comic book stuff, because I, re I, I go over these a bunch. Um, and I really wanted to make it feel like I was in Barnes & Noble, you know, like an authentic book reading and buying place. So I put a, a half-drunk Starbucks cup up there because, you know, people are assholes and like to leave those around. So that's up there. It's actually mine. Oh, that's cold now. So Nichelle, one of my best friends, she got me the Nerd Block comic box for Christmas. So that's what I'm gonna open here today. I did order the classic Nerd Block for this month, so that should be coming any day now. I was really surprised that this came so early. I thought that they came like middle of the month like Loot Crate did, but nope, it's here early and well, I, I don't know. Maybe it's early, maybe it's not, but I'm excited to open it. Haven't opened it at all. It looks like this. Yay. Let's open it. Do I even need scissors? Yes. Yes, I do. So I think with these boxes, they send you three comic books, I want to say, and then a shirt and maybe a collectible, or maybe it's just the comic books and then the shirt. Um, I forget. But let's find out without cutting myself. Ah, come on, Hannah, you can do it. Ah, oh, I turned into one of those people who talks in third person. Ooh. For this month, the shirt is Judge Dredd, and that's super, super exciting. Oh, that looks so cool. I am the law. I like that a lot. Ooh, I'm gonna wear this. I haven't actually read any, any Judge Dredd comic books so far, but I've seen the movie and I loved that. So I'm really excited. And then for the comic books, un unsurprisingly, Judge Dredd, number numero uno from the comic block. That looks pretty sweet. Nice artwork. Ooh! From Marvel? Ah! Scarlet Witch! This is so exciting! Oh my god, this is so exciting! Ah! Yes! Oh my god, so... Oh! Shit! Oh, so I'm on, on, on Jessica Jones? I want that too. Oh, oh my god, I haven't bought comics in like a month. This is so exciting for me. You know, I usually, the the majority of my tiny comic book and graphic novel collection is overwhelming DC. Like, this is all DC right here. It's mainly graphic novels. And then on this side, you have Marvel and everything else that's not DC. <laughs> Literally, yeah. I read a lot of like, that family stuff like Nightwing and Red Hood and the Allies is my favorite and I love Starfire. Um, but Scarlet Witch, that's so exciting! This artwork looks so cool! I'm gonna look inside! Looking inside, number one. Ooh, oh, I love this artwork. Look at this artwork. I'm not gonna zoom, I'm not gonna bring closer because it's not in focus. No, my animal is on manual right now. You can't really see it very well, but it looks so good. Oh. I'm very happy about this. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm usually not, not extremely into Marvel stuff, but that's just because usually I, I just love DC more. I still like, I still like Marvel a lot, but usually it's just, if I had the option between buying something DC and something Marvel, um, DC usually wins. Oh, dude, it's the Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book. Oh, the crossover. That's so cool. 
Oh my god, can you see that? No, it's so blurry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that looks so good. I'm sorry you can't see it very well, but I'm really, really ex excited to read this. Wow, it looks like it was just colored in. That's a weird artwork. We're gonna open this right now. Come on, come on. I, you know, I always want to read through a lot of comic books at once, but no, it always makes me sad when I finish them because then you finish them and then you need more and they cost me money. Come on, open. I don't want to hurt you, but this is so exciting. I heard about the scrolls here for a long time now and I was really, really excited about it. I think I was just gonna steal them from my friend or just read it in a store. Ooh. Whoever thought that Batman and the turtles, whatever, joined forces to defeat evil. Not me, but I'm really happy that they are. Is that Nightwing? That looks like Nightwing. <laughs> Pizza. I just rewatched Batman Begins yesterday and it was a great thing. <sighs> Batman comics are awesome. Okay, well, those are the three comic books. The Batman and TMNT, Scarlet Witch, and Judge Dredd. Which I haven't opened this one. Let's open it. I really appreciate when they put cardboard in the back to make sure that comic books don't actually bend or get hurt. That makes me very, very happy. Right now, I feel like I'm going to hurt this because I'm just too aggressive. Come on, Hannah. Ow. Oh. Hannah versus plastic. Plastic apparently wins. I got it. We're good. No, don't fall. Don't fall. Come on. Come on, Dread. Wow, everything looks so barren besides Dread. This seems like a really, it's like a really old art style. Ooh. Ooh, well, sorry again that you can't see it. I'm really sorry. It's not gonna focus well. If it focuses, it makes noise. I don't like that. I just got a new camera. Oh, I'm getting blurry. Getting blurry. <laughs> right here? Can you see it now? No, not really. Uh, oh well. Okay, I'm sorry. And the little collectible. The little collectible are magnets. It's a little magnet set. Oh, sorry. Wow, I'm just a jerk right now. <laughs> what else is in there? There's two of them. Ah, got a Superman? You can't see that. I'm just a dick today, man. These art magnets from pop artist Russ Moore feature one of the most iconic hero villain pairing in comic book history, depicted here as a classic action figures. These used to decorate your fridge or a number of other metal objects you might have around the home or office. A comic book exclusive. Ooh, I feel so special now. Well, so that's all that was in the box. Do you want to see the box? Do you guys really care about the box? Sometimes I care about the box, so let's, I'll, I'll show you. I almost fell out of my chair. This is just what it looks like. It's a boring box. You know one thing about Loot Crate and Nerd Block is that Loot Crate definitely has like 100 times more exciting boxes. That's because they just, you know, that's like their thing. That's their gimmick and that's fine. I still feel like Nerd Block has better stuff though. Like I only, I've only gotten one, one box ever from, from Nerd Block and I'm so happy with this stuff. Oh my god. I mean it's not hard to please me but I'm just really happy. So he got my money's worth. Well, my friend got hers, her, her money's worth because Michelle got it for me. But still, it's really like like worthwhile things. Like that shirt, I love that shirt. The magnets are adorable. And those comic books are so cool. I can't wait to read those. I have rambled enough. I've shown you everything. Um, yeah, my name's Hannah. This has been my first ever Nerd Block unboxing. Woo! Can't wait to do another when my Nerd Block Classic box gets here. Hopefully soon. Thought I'd, thought I'd be done, but I highly doubt this video will be out before that comes. So you might get like two videos in a day from me. That's pretty cool. Good job. Good job, Future Hannah. Yeah. Well, that's it for the day. Um, if you want to like and subscribe, that'd be cool. If not, I don't really care. My life will go on without you. No, I'm kidding. I also label that if they subscribe to me, I will bake them cookies. Just send me your address and credit card information and I will, I will do that. No, that's mean. People would, people would have to do that too. That's what's sad. Well, that's it now. Bye!